What's happening, McKelvey Intermediate School? It's Mr. Flood. Don't worry, I know. Like, none of you remember who I am. I'm just kidding. I hope a lot of you remember who I am. No, I really don't remember. I really don't care if you remember who I am. I care that you remember something that I said. I was at, a, at your school, guys and girls, uh, about a month ago in, I don't know when you're watching this. Hopefully it's uh, in late January, early February. But I was at your school in Bedford in early January, and I wanted to come back with this little video, this short video, just to say a couple of things. Number one, thank you for the way that you welcomed me. I've been in New Hampshire a couple times before, and you guys you know, treated me with dignity and respect, which was wonderful, so thank you for that. Uh, I walk into a lot of schools, uh, over 100 schools every year, and most schools uh, you know, treat me well. Uh, but yours treated me exceptionally well, so thank you for that. But the real reason, the, the most important reason for this video, guys and girls, is to remind you of the challenges that I gave you when I was there. You know, three simple things that have had a, a profound impact on my life, uh, my everyday life um, in dealing with others, and I know that they'll help you. And, that you know, the challenges, I hope, you know, maybe you, you remember one or two of them or, you know, a part of one of them. Uh, are to look on the inside of people, never judge people by the outside, or always give people the benefit of the doubt. And I guarantee you that if you do that for others, they will do that for you too. Very rarely, if you go in with an open mind um, and don't think some, don't have preconceived notions about someone, they won't have preconceived notions about you. So always look on the inside of people um, and don't judge people by the outside. Second challenge I gave you, what, that is so important, you know, in your middle school career, in your high school career, in your life career, you're going to need you, adults, trusted people to go to. And it's so important that you connect with adults now when you're in middle school. You know, when you're coming of age, it's important to have someone to go to, to bounce things off of, to check yourself with when you're struggling with things. I might not have said this during my assembly when I was there, last month, guys and girls, but when you share a problem with someone, you cut it in half. You know, you don't dump it on them, but you kind of leave it with them. Um, and it makes you feel better. So make sure that you connect with two adults in the building uh, and, and go to them on a, you know, weekly basis and check in with them. And the third challenge I gave you, the one that was most important to me, is that no one should have to eat alone. And take that challenge wherever you can, you know, in the hallway, in a conversation in the classroom, on the bus, at recess, Wherever, especially in, in, you know, in the cafeteria when you're eating lunch, I don't think anyone should have to eat alone. And there's just something about sharing a meal with someone that's so, so important. And, you know, as I, I know I said this when I was there, it's not about the conversation. It's never about the conversation. It's just about the company. It's just being about being in the company of other people who are welcoming to you. So look on the inside, thank to show respect for connect with two adults in the building and no one eats alone. Hope you, all of you guys and girls have an awesome second half to the school year. I hope it's a mild winter, unless you like winter and you like a lot of snow. I hope you do, since you live up in New Hampshire. Um, but I hope you all have a, a great second half to the school year, and I hope I run into you guys in a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts um, somewhere in the Northeast or somewhere else. Have a great day, guys.